What is a blog? Originally created from the words web and log, a blog is just that. A blog is the logging of one's thoughts, ideas, experiences and more all in the one place, the web. You've probably seen them around, but what makes them so great? Well, blogs are easy to use. With a few clicks, you can share thoughts, opinions, news, anything. Your blog is an expression of you on the web. The blog theme is how you control how your blog looks. You can choose a theme and personalize it with your own themes and colors and background images to find a look that fits you. It's easy to change themes, so you will always be sure that there's a theme that fits your personality and makes it easier for visitors to find what they're looking for. Blogs can be public or private. The blog on this course is private, so only you, your teacher and the e-moderator can view what you've written. Most blog themes are made up of four sections, the header, the sidebar, the footer and the body. The header usually contains your main navigation. All web pages usually contain breadcrumbs, just like your MOOC modules, which brings you back and forth in terms of pages and contents. Sidebars. Blogs usually have them. They contain widgets, links to your favorite websites, popular content, recent activity and social media tools. The footer rests at the bottom of a typical blog. It usually contains information that won't change, like links to read more about you or a link to a contact page. Lastly, the most important area of your blog is the body. This is the main content area. Usually this is the primary reason why people have come to your blog. If your blog is public, this is where your thoughts and ideas come to life as you share them with others. Post Page. So what's the difference? Pages are different from posts. They normally are static and display contents such as an about me page or a contact page. A post on the other hand is where you publish your thoughts. Posts are usually positioned in order of date and time so that a reader knows exactly where to find the most recent or relevant information. Things like your daily updates or news about a topic is usually contained in a post. When you have a new story posted, it appears at the top of your blog. This used to be done in journals, and blogs are an online version of a journal entry, which can be made public for others to see. Posts sometimes give the reader an option to comment on what you've written in your blog, so others can add their thoughts to yours, share in a conversation, or just provide you with feedback about your blog. This brings a community element to blogging and makes them popular for information sharing. Blogs make it possible to share images, video, and other types of media files, giving you freedom of creative expression. Now, with the popularity of mobile phones, your blog can be viewed anytime and anywhere. Blogs are for everybody. People of all ages share on blogs every day for school, college, work and play. No matter what you want to do, blogging is a great way to connect with other people and get your ideas out there. So why don't you start blogging today?